And hello, hi. So what's the difference between building your business organically or using automation? Which one is more effective? Whether you're building a team, using an affiliate program or whatever it is. Have you ever wondered if there's something more you could be doing to build your business or something you're not aware of? So let's chat about this. So welcome. And if you're joining me live, I'd love to know where you're coming from. Join in in the conversation and same thing on the replay because I'll come back and uh, come back to the conversation. So please uh, join in and let's uh, chat about this. And if we haven't met before, my name is Olive Dodd and I'm here to inspire, encourage, motivate, train, educate you so that you too can bring your uh, business online and today is perfect because I'm following up on what I talked about uh, last time last Wednesday and we're going to talk about the difference between organic and automation so let's dive right into it a little bit of a different location today so I'm testing this out let me know what you think about that too so what does organic mean uh, you know, when we build a team or a business organically, what exactly does that mean? So we're going to compare the two uh, with automation and talk a little bit about both. So how might you build uh, your business? Like, you know, automation is awesome, and it, but it's still the relationship piece, uh, you know, makes a huge difference that has to still has to go into it. So organically is anything that you're actually doing. So basically it's manual and automation is as the word, you know, describes it, things that you do without you doing anything. So just the way, you know, the word sounds. And with automation, you get a little bit more time back into your life and what we call leverage, you know, using the power of social media. So a lot of things go into the automation piece. So it's great to build both ways, but uh, at the end of the day, it still comes down to the relationship piece. So let's get into uh, organic. So uh, let me know, uh, you know, what does organic mean to you? You know, what do, do you think, you know, that that means or what does that entail? Uh, you know, does it mean, you know, how can you use that to, to increase your business so uh, responding and engaging yes uh, you know and how do we do that so uh, we respond you know on our platform using Facebook you know maybe um, other platforms too uh, not just on Facebook uh, but before we can actually respond and engage you know there's something else that we need and it so what might that be? It, that's growing the audience. So we have to have an audience to you know, respond to and engage with. So the audience is you know, one of the biggest things that we have. And a lot of people miss this, <laughs> that you know, they really need to know who their target audience is. You know? So grow that audience that knows us, that likes us, and trusts us. You know? And so that's what people miss, is having that influence over the audience. So with organic, you know, it's free, but it takes time. And, you know, time is not necessarily free. It's the only resource that you can't get back. And so think about that for a moment, you know, that uh, when I think about that, I kind of get chills because I think, okay, well, it's time you can't get back. So all the time that you spend doing something, then you're not maybe, you know, spending time with your family. You're not, you know, getting outside, you're not going for that hike, you know, you're working on your business. So it's time versus money. So, you know, which one, you know, is more important to you? Oh, good morning, Katrine. Great to see you. Thank you for joining me. How lovely to see you too. Uh, wonderful thanks for oops coming in just trying to hide that there we go yes so how do we grow our audience so we need to connect with people you know through our lives and our value and uh 
where you know where do we find these people you know through automation we can do a likes campaign uh through organically we can do groups uh so they're kind of they work parallel to each other you know organic and automation so a likes campaign would be the automation you know help having the platform like facebook show you where you can find these people and organic would be you know you doing the same but you're doing it yourself so uh let's say you know you want to find you know lots of time uh katrine says time isn't free absolutely it's not you know think about you know what you could be doing like going outside going on a hike and if you're not doing that you know, and I know that I have <laughs> spent a lot of time, you know, on my business in the last while. And so, you know, that's time that I haven't been doing other things. So you have to balance, you know, that in your life. Okay. So um, uh, let's see, what was I saying? Organic, yeah. So either way, you're, you're trying to find people. So, uh, and how would you find people organically? So you'd think about, oh, where do, what are their interests? You know, first of all, you have to, of course, have your target market and know who it is. So thinking about what is that person, uh, you know, in particular, what are their interests? So where would they be hanging out? What groups would they be in? What gurus would they be following? And going to those groups and offering value and, you know, getting into conversations with people and making friends that way. And, uh, you know, friend requesting and that kind of thing. But of course, this takes time and you can't just, you know, start sending messages out to people. It would be, you know, a little bit, you know, overwhelming. Like you don't walk up to someone in the street and say, will you marry me? You have to build that relationship first because otherwise people go, well, who are you? You, know, you just don't do that. So it's building up a relationship and, uh, you know, through conversation and, you know, so having conversations with people either in messenger or in groups and things like that and having them you know friend you so and but of course it's that human element uh, katrine says i love to be able to do organic and automated awesome to only talk to quality people yes exactly and that that's the key it's that not everybody is our prospect <laughs> Uh, you know, so we want to really think about the target market and, you know, that one particular person, you know, maybe they're probably very similar to yourself. And so, you know, what interests you, what groups and that kind of thing. And so in that group, you know, being a human and, you know, friending them and being helpful, offering value, uh, you know, and not sending messages, you know, on the second uh message that you get how many times have you you know sent a uh, or answered a friend request and then only to have you know the next message come back is you know do you want to buy my stuff or join my team and that kind of thing it's like oh man that just you know drives you drives you crazy right so it's still all about the relationships you know playing the long game like it would be like having friends you know forever and uh Katrine is love the analogy. Will you marry me at first sight? Exactly, you know, maybe in the movies, but uh, you know, <laughs> uh, otherwise, uh, no. Oops, here we go. Try to hide that. There we go. Uh, <laughs> so it takes time, and again, you know, time is not free. So, you know, how would we? go about that so a lot of this if you're doing friend requests and that kind of thing that happens on your personal profile so what do we want to have on our personal profile you know now that we have friends so being that human and you know learning about people so sharing your story you know, we don't want to be on social media, you know, all day long, sending thousands of messages and that kind of thing. We want the algorithm, you know, the organic algorithm, you know, to work for us. So we do that by, you know, consistently posting, you know, the inspiration, motivation, education, uh, and that kind of thing. And lifestyle, because we want people to know who we are as a person. So, And then, you know, the key is, of course, to 
engage with the people that you're interacting with and to do this consistently, uh, you know, so that there's a flow and people, you know, otherwise they go away and they're, they're not, they're not going to come back again. So it's being interested in other people so that they become interested in you. And the quote goes, you know, be interested, not interesting. So it's, you know, not about ourselves, but it's about how you can help others. So think about when you are posting about what's your intention in the post? Uh, what's your purpose? You know, it might just be to, you know, show your lifestyle or to share, you know, what you are doing. But the intention there is that, you know, you are putting yourself out there, you know, not because you think you are so interesting, but because people might be interested in, in what you're doing. Uh, need to catch the rest on replay. Great. Okay, lovely. Thank you for joining me. Have a wonderful day, Katrine, and we shall talk to you later. Uh, uh, it doesn't want. There we go. Okay. So uh, let them know who you are and, you know, ask them about, you know, you know, maybe anything, you know, what are they making for dinner? You know, uh, just being a human being. Okay. So then, what do we do after that? You know, what do we do next? We either, you know, we have to finally, you know, get to, you know, uh, where we want to, to lead these people, you know, looking at our business or buying a product. And how do we do that? If it's all value, you know, is anybody, you know, are we going to get to our purpose? Because they don't know. People need to know what it is that, um, that you, you want to do. So we also want to be posting curiosity posts about our products because we don't want to spam our products, you know, or uh, it's against, you know, policy to, you know, promote a business, especially on your personal page. So we need those curiosity posts, you know, about our products that it's just enough information that people are curious and they want to ask you about it. So whatever it is, it's a health journey, you know, just like you were sharing something with a friend, like, for instance, you know, like, uh, you're sharing a good movie, like, have you ever seen you know, the movie called The Book Club? Well, it's hilarious, you know, and so I really enjoyed that, you know, and you might enjoy it too. And that kind of thing is just, it's such a, <laughs> a good movie, it's especially, you know, to bring your spirits up, lots of laughs. And so just sharing, you know, things that you would with a, a good friend. And um, then, you know, at the end of it, you know, I've, if you've experienced this, or you're struggling with this, you know, then, uh, you know, let me know kind of thing. And it's, you know, not so much the not spamming the product. So the best way to do this, of course, is to do both. You know, you can do organic right now. Uh, you know, you friend people, engage, you know, start posting, do a call to action. And then, you know, but it can take a while for people to, to notice this. Uh, oh, I really need some water. <laughs> and then the automation, you know, is the same thing. It's paid. You do the same steps. You grow, engage, and promote. And then, but you're asking, you know, Facebook, the algorithm, you know, to put it in front of the people that, you know, you have selected. And so, of course, then the expansion, you know, is a lot faster. And that's where the leverage comes in. That's where, you know, the, the power comes in. But, you know, you do need to have skills for this. Uh, you, you don't want to just like jump into it and start doing ads because if you, could, if you do it wrong, you know, you can get shut down. You There's privacy policies, you know, there's ad policies. You don't want to get into the hot water. You know, you do want to play by the rules. And, you know, so and that's what, you know, <laughs> makes makes a huge difference and so knowing how to do this you know is is really really the key and so you know it's really cool to use both you know focus on you know one at a time and once one is kind of under your, your belt and move on to the automation and so yes but definitely you know have the skills for the automation and you know if you'd like to dig deeper into that you know you know into the automation, then uh, let's, you know, let me know and, you know, 
show some uh, drop the word uh, training and I would love to you know because then we could get onto a chat and we could really find out you know what path is the best for you and you know to so that you can learn those skills and uh, Darlene says I need to share who I am before anyone will allow me into their own lives. I love connecting with people. Such a good experience. Yes, exactly. Yes, you don't want to. Yeah, exactly. Good point. Like you don't want to have friends just for the sake of having numbers. It's not about the numbers. It's about the, the quality friendships. Exactly. I love that point. So yeah, know who that person is. And that's why we have personal profiles. You can go and check out that personal profile and see what that person is about. Especially, you know, that's why it's so annoying if someone, you know, sends me a message about, you know, do I want this or that? Well, if you checked out my profile, you would know that either I'm interested in it or I'm not, or I'm already doing it and that kind of thing. So take a moment and, you know, find out about people, especially before you start to ask them about anything. Okay. So both is uh, really good, you know, because then that would maximize your, your, your reach and that kind of thing so both are very very cool organic is manual and automation of course is you know giving you a little bit more time so it's time or money and that kind of thing so if you'd like to learn if you'd like to dig deeper into the automation part or any part of this then let me know at training below and I will love to chat with you to see you know what avenue is best for you so thank you for joining me I really appreciate everyone who has joined me and especially on the replay I will get back to you too so go ahead and uh, let me know training below and I would love to chat with you so until next time on Monday at nine o'clock I am uh, trying to be right on time at nine o'clock now setting a new standard for myself so we're going to see how that goes so looking forward to seeing you on Monday until then have a wonderful weekend and enjoy with the rest of the day whatever part of the day it is for you bye for now <laughs>